Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video presentation on the little known tips for free Google traffic. Uh, we're going to dive in here, take a couple of minutes to share with you here. So before we dig in, just a quick slide here on what is SEO, search engine optimization. Very quick, but uh, you can see on this graph here, I uh, point to content and links, very central, right smack in the middle there. On the left side, keywords to the page, content, we call this on page, right? Uh, content, the code behind the scenes, the structure, uh, the overall, the information architecture we talk about, it's really navigation, the links, the tagging, and then to your right there, the links, uh, the off-page factors, uh, links from other sites uh, back to you, those are the incoming arrows there. Well, knowing this now and how important content is and how important it is to have strategic links to your site, let's talk about it. Uh, we consider a robust SEO strategy to use multiple ways to drive traffic and relying on keywords certainly is your first step. You know, you must make sure that they match your website and optimize the uh, pages and the underlying uh, relationships there on your page. But uh, effective copy and how it's presented both on the page and what the viewer sees and what's in the code with the search engine sees are very important. And now actually fast loading pages is considered another signal used by Google. You just want to optimize across the board, right? And when you think about copy and content, uh, ADAS can help you. And that stands for attention, interest, the desire, action, and satisfaction. Are you meeting all those objectives, right? You want to make sure you do. So, the key to writing effective copying driving traffic and repeat visitors, certainly, uh, we don't want one-time visitors and leaving, is uh, creating content that's both relevant and value-driven. It actually matches their request when they get there, right? And uh, we want to make sure that uh, the request actually matches to an offer. So this is accomplished by the keywords, as I mentioned, but you need to now put them in the title of each web page. You need the variations of the keywords in the URL. You often see this in optimized blogs. The metadata, that gets back to the code again. Page descriptions, uh, an image and video descriptions. Uh, you can utilize images and videos in what's called universal search. That's uh, multiple ways to get listed now in the search engines. And YouTube, of course, now the largest, uh, second largest uh, search engine, very powerful. Lastly, the order to, um, in order to provide this value, you need to structure links to other pages within your site. Talked a little bit about that at the beginning here. You want to make sure that they're easily accessible and readable, no confusion, you know, no confusion. Don't make me think is really your rule here. Uh, adding the links within the copy makes it easier for reader, uh, readers to follow, not, not just simply uh, through the navigation. It, it sort of acts as an open door to the other areas of your website. And so basically getting quality and slowly built merit-based links and citations from other sites, that's where you want to be. Uh, search engines make adjustments all the time. You certainly don't want to be caught in any spamming or filtering uh, as time progresses. Uh, this is called link deprecation. That's a whole different video, but uh, make sure you build quality, right? So if you got any questions, well, then feel free. Here's uh, a little, uh, couple of links for you, chaosmap.com forward slash blog, twitter.com forward slash chaosmap, uh, Chaos Map, uh, we call ourselves the Internet Marketing Architects, and we truly do help you to map out uh, the Internet and success for you online. Thank you for watching.